Hey guys, it's Maddie here and in today's episode of AFI's How To's, I'll be showing you guys how to make some lucky little shave soap. It's perfect for the season and a great addition to your spring line. So hit that like button if you're excited to jump in and I'll stop rambling and we'll get started. Start by melting down your soap base. I'm using a goat's milk melt and pour soap that's detergent free, which is great for sensitive skin. Make sure to cut it up into cubes so it melts a little more evenly. So pop it into the microwave for 30 second intervals and be careful not to let it boil or scorch. When your soap is fully melted, remove it from the microwave and then you'll be ready for the next couple of steps. First, add in the sodium lauryl sulfur acetate. This is a gentle surfactant that will help boost the bubbles in our soap and give a foamy lather that's perfect for shaving. Whisk it into the soap base. With that stirred in, you can follow up with a kaolin clay, which will make the bars really, really smooth and help them glide across the skin. And now it's time for the fun part, which is adding in your fragrance. I wanted to make this shave soap masculine, fresh, and perfect for spring. With that in mind, I'm using clover and wild fern. Measure it out and add the rest of it to the soap. To finish off the bars, we're going to give these clovers a pop of color with some green mica powder. Disperse about a teaspoon of the mica powder into some isopropyl alcohol to minimize clumps and add it into the soap. With one last stir, our shave soap is ready to be poured. I'm using some super cute clover molds to match the theme of the bars. When you fill the molds, give everything a spritz with some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any bubbles. My bars are fully hardened now and after a couple of hours, they can be removed from the molds. Look at these lucky little bars, aren't they so cute? Well, these clovers can be used with a shaving brush or lather directly on the skin for smooth and precise shave. And they smell great to boot. Each three ounce bar costs us about a dollar to make, meaning they can be sold wholesale for two to four dollars and retail for six to ten dollars, depending on the additives and the fragrance that you choose to use. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed following along with us today. Drop any comments or questions that you may have down below and hit us up on any of our socials if you wanna have a say in what we make next. And are you a member of our notification squad? If not, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so you never miss an update here from AFI. I'm Maddie and I'll catch you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.